What's up everyone? I am back and this time I'm here with some more Monster Hunter goodies. I've been expecting this for a while now and this is brought to you by Ami Ami. Let's open it up. All right, so here is the front of the box, and we have Barrieth and Beototus on the front, or actually the top. This is the front here. Barrieth, Beototus, a shadowy figure, which looks like Barrieth. Here's one side of the box. All right, uh, we have Beototus. I can't read these. Uh, Brute Tigrex and uh, Viper Tobikodachi. Here's the back. Not much there. Here's the other side. Brachydeos, Coral Bouquet, and uh, who is that? Barrieth again. Nothing on the box, or nothing on the bottom. All right. Let's open this thing up now. All right. And I'm going to do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. But first, let's look at one of the boxes. Here is the top of the box, coral. Here's the front. And we have Barrieth and Beototus. One side here, Toby Kodachi, Viper, and Brute Tigrex. Here's the back side. And the other side, got Bracky. Bottom, not much. All right, box one, let's open it up. Box one, here's the clear parts, various. Box one is Brute Tigrex, and he comes in one piece. Box two. Your parts buried. And we have Coral Pouquet. Comes in one piece. Box three. Clear parts. And we have Viper Toby Kadachi. One piece, this one. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of figure building in this one. Four. Beototus, one part, and the stand. Box five. Clear parts, and we have various. Comes in one piece. Finally, box six. Clear parts. Brachydeos. All right, that's all six of them. I'm going to take them out of their plastic. I'll be right back. All right, let's take a quick look at Brute Tigrex. Uh, here's the top of him. And he's nothing but brown. I could swear that in the game he has a little bit of orange, but it doesn't... I thought his stripes were orange, but here they are light brown. I don't know how accurate that is, but I guess I'll check later. Here's the underside. Here's the tail. Of 
cool. Nice line of action here. All right, let's go to the next. Next, we have Coral Puke Puke, and this is just a recolor of the other, of the other Puke Puke. So we have a lot of uh, pink colors, yellow colors. Now his tongue is blue, but it pretty much looks like the first one, just, just different paint apps. Here's the top. I'm losing light pretty quickly, but oh well. Nice colors though. I think I like Coral Bouquet's colors a lot. There you go. Close up of his tongue. Underbelly. I've always liked uh, the underside. That's cool. All these lines and stuff. Awesome. All right, let's move to the next one. All right, here is Viper Toby. His uh, spikes here, they're soft. These are soft on the side. This middle, these middle, um, sp uh, they're not really spikes, but uh, what would you call them? Cor how do you call it? I forgot how do you call these, but I call them spikes. Um, these are hard and these are pretty loose, as you can see. I can bend it. Oh, quills. I want to say quills. That's the word. So the quills on this guy, again, this this is pretty sturdy, sturdy. Just on the outside, it's soft. It's like very rubbery. Yeah, he's about to hit you with that zigzag move that he does. He does like that one and then two. That's what it looks like. Got a little hole here for the peg. So I'm assuming he's going to be like this. We'll see later. But this one's pretty cool. I, I like this one a lot. Nice colors too. Orange, brown. And the underside has this like periwinkle, uh, purplish. And then it has a gradient to like a yellow. That's nice. The tail, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I like this one. I hate this character. I think he's a pain in the ass to fight. Easy, but just... It's a bastard. But I do like this figure. Here's Beatotus, and it looks like he's doing his little circle attack. But let's see where that hole is right here. Ah, it's like his dive attack. So the peg would go here, so he's like... Either he's jumping out of the snow, or he's like jumping on you. Uh, he has like these white parts here. I don't know if that's supposed to be snow, or is that part of his character? Um, he's got this little shark fin here, and then this shark-like nose. Let's bring his face closer to the camera. Got these little sharp teeth. Yeah, these are pretty sharp. Nice line of action there, this C shape. There's his legs, fins, other side, legs, fins. Looks pretty symmetrical on both sides, except this leg is a little higher. That's cool too. Like this little metallic color here and here too. Yeah, his underside is very metallic. This like metallic pink color and it has a gradient into yellow and a little bit of green, just a tad. But that looks awesome. And next up is good old Barrieth. Oh, I don't say good old, I hate this guy. All right, here is Barriot with his teeth. Always try to knock those out when I fight him. He looks pretty awesome. Again, he's another one that I don't like fighting, but I think this figure is really nice. All this armor looking stuff here that runs down the tail, that's cool. Uh, his tail looks awesome too. 
And then they sell the like the fur on the wings. I think they sell that pretty well in here too. Get a close up maybe of his face. Underside. Underside looks cool too. Look at his paws. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Yeah, this one's nice. I do like this one, especially, you know, from this angle, it looks really cool. But he's going to be posed like this. He's like in, in stalker mode. Okay, let's go on to the next one. And this next one, Bracky, our punchy guy. Cool colors. This metallic blue is awesome. Goes into a nice gradient of green, just like the game. That's cool. He's got his little mittens. I, I call him mittens. <laughs> He's going to punch you with his blast. Tongue is yellow. He's got this little horn on his nose. That's nice. Let's look at him from the top. Awesome. His tail is here. He's got a really strange tail. And underside. Again, the thing that stands out are his colors. That's cool from the green to the blue. Not much of a, it's kind of a gradient. Yeah, kind of. And all right, let's move on to the last one, which is the clear parts. You all know I'm not too thrilled about that. All right, this is the only building that you're going to do with this set. Everything, all the regular characters, they come in just one piece. So uh, the term figure builder, I don't know about that one for this, but let's get this out. All right, it came in five different plastic baggies, but there are actually one, two, three, four, five, six parts. Uh, the main, the main part, which is his body and his right wing, and then I guess this is his left wing. His tail, his hind legs, two hind legs, and his head. All right, let's build this thing. So I'll start with main body. Put the head in, bam, like that. Oh, his teeth are very loose, very loose. They feel like bristles on a toothbrush. All right, let's put the wing in, left wing, boom. Let's put his tail, all right, that, that, okay. his tail in then oh it's one of these where you have to put one and then the other because this thing has a hole in it this thing has a peg so I'm sure you're gonna stick it through that and then connect to the to the hole oops bam there's one and then this one is gonna plug into that I'm assuming there you go and there goes the wing yeah the thing about these clear plastic ones I don't like them because they do fall apart easily they don't really stay too well so you're probably gonna want to use glue but there he goes or there he is we have an icy looking barrier very fitting and again, I'm not a fan of these. You know what? Actually, this one is not too bad, though, when I look at it like this. And I think it's just that this line and just the way Barry flicks up. Oh, there goes the leg again. 
see, use glue. All right, I'm going to come back with them on their stands. All right, here we are with them on their stands. The first one we're gonna talk about is Brute Tigrex. And it looks like he is just doing his little stalking move, like right before he leaves an area. You're there. It's really dark. There, it seems like there's a lot of shadow here. Um, yeah, because of his color, he's just all dark brown. He's lighter in person. Uh, again, my lighting is kind of bad right now. But yeah, he looks awesome. Let's turn him a little. Oh, there you go. He's getting some light now. Let's get them back. All right, so that's Brute. Let's see if we can focus here. There you go. Ooh. You know, I think on the ads, he has a different pose, right? I thought he had like this kind of screaming pose. I don't know, I'm gonna have to check that one. But I could have sworn that he was gonna have a different pose. And, Cause he looks like the, the original T-Rex that was released, what, two boxes ago? All right, we're done with this guy. And next up we have Coral Puke. And you probably want to use this little peg here, this stand, because um, when I didn't put it, he just went face first into the stand. So you're going to want something to keep him up. And I should probably, that's probably better. There you go. That's better. Right. Nice colors. And there's Coral Bouquet. Next up, we have Viper Toby Kadachi. And he looks pretty damn awesome. Again, he's doing that zigzag move. Let's see if I can bring him closer and focus a little better. Or maybe not. All right, there you go. Cool. Uh, I like, th the peg is cool because now it looks like he's just, he's in the air and he's right in the middle of his attack. Or not in the middle, but right gonna start his attack. I didn't notice that. That looks cool. That um, because he's turning his head. That's pretty nice there. I'm digging this one. This one's cool. Jeez, really cool. All right, there's Toby. Next up, we have Biotodis. And he's just doing his jumping out of snow attack. This is where the peg is, so he is off the stand. It's cool because, like, from this angle, you can't tell that there's, you know, because it's all black here. You can't tell he's on a stand. And again, this metallic color, that's pretty cool. But yeah, not much going on over here. Let me bring him closer. Maybe get a little focus. There you go. Good detail. 
the snow on his yeah again I don't know if that's snow or if it's part of his part of Beatota's skin or whatever if it is if they are trying to be uh, if it is snow I'm I don't think it looks good it's okay all right next all right now we have this beast this thing is cool again I think this is awesome from here from the top he looks pretty massive he looks pretty badass Let's focus. Bam. That's cool. I think his hand is supposed to be touching. But it's not letting me. But still, nice pose. Cool. Got a pretty thick arm here. Damn. Cool. I, damn, I gotta find a way to let him touch the ground. But I don't think. Eh. I think eventually it'll be heavy enough where uh, it'll be touching. Like, yeah, it's starting to go. Really cool. This is a little heavy. Awesome. And next up we have Bracadios. Very dark in color. But he looks pretty awesome. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the same mold as his previous figure builder. If anyone knows that, please leave it in the comments. But here, man, he looks like a lineman. <laughs> Looks like he's about to play some football. He's got his hand down. All he needs, yeah, he's he's looks like he's gonna tackle someone. Oh, that's cool. This looks cool right here. This kind, of, this um, profile view. That's nice. A lot of dark blues, some shadow, shadow all around like on the inside because of how dark he is which is not bad I think the green really brings brings out the figure though because he's so dark here and then we got this light green really good contrast and his little yellow tongue stands out I wonder if we could oops all right Okay. And finally, we have the clear parts, Barith. Pretty much like the other one, except he's all white and looks like a ice sculpture. I think that's the best way to describe this. He looks like an ice sculpture. And how awesome would that be if someone actually made an ice sculpture of Berrieth or Vulcana at um, a snow festival? I think they have like three major ones around the world. In, one in China, one in Hokkaido, Japan, and I forgot the other one, maybe Russia. But that'd be dope if they made an ice sculpture of Berrieth or Vulcana. Yeah, this one's not bad. I do like this one. And this one, his hand is actually touching the stand, so that's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna bring them all together and give you my final thoughts about volume 16. All right, my final thoughts on volume 16. It's a great set. Uh, I like the addition of Barrieth, and I like the addition of Bracky and Viper Toby. I wish there was Great Gyros though because I really want to finish the base game. They're not showing him any love. Poor Great Gyros. 
But if you've been collecting all the Monster Hunter World versions of these, I really recommend getting these because it's going to look great in your whole collection. And they have recently just announced 17. And the lineup for that is Nightshade Paolumu, Charis Valda, Jan Garuga, Xenogre, Namiel, and Acidic Glavness. So really looking forward to those. Uh, the next figure that I should be getting is the Creator's Model Glavinus that should be coming in July. And then I'll be getting the uh, Bandai Monster Arts in September with Nargakuga and Rathalos. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm sure you're really excited about Alatrion. Uh, super excited. It's going to be in one week. I've never fought him before, so I'm looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to tonight's, um, what is it? Developer's Diary. So that's coming on in three, in about three or four hours. Uh, but probably by the time you see this video, it will have already been done. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting. Take it easy. Be safe. Be healthy. Be good to each other. Peace.